Next, we are going with the inductive load. Now, here we are talking about a phase difference value. Here, the phase is zero. Nothing to worry about any kind of power factor value over here. But we have many inductive loads in nature. We have many inductive loads in nature. So basically, what is mean by inductive load? In the last class also, roughly I have explained you that whatever the equipment, if it is if it is having any kind of copper winding or aluminum winding, or if it is generating a magnetic energy, nothing but flux, that is nothing but inductive load. It can be anything. It can be a machine. It can be a stabilizer. It can be any SMPS or it can be anything. If you are finding a copper winding, aluminum winding, or if that equipment is generating any kind of magnetic energy or reflux, that is nothing but inductive load. So it opposes a sudden change in current in stores current in the form of magnetic field. So the first sentence self indicate what it indicates that this equipment will take some extra amount of current and this extra amount of current will be converted into the form of energy, nothing but your magnetic energy. Okay, so during this period, the amount of current will be much more. So electromagnetic fields are the key to the inductive loads. The EMF is the main core concept for your inductive loads. So here you can see in the third sentence that with an inductive load, the current waveform is lagging. The current waveform will lag. Why it is lagging? Because during this period, during this period, it is taking some extra amount of current. It is showing some extra amount of current to generate magnetic field. So this value as a rough, I have taken the value of 90 degrees. You can see the voltage will start at zero with same magnitude, but current is going to be different. It can be 90, it can be 80, it can be 70. It depends upon the efficiency of your device. If you're working with a good manufacturing company, if you're working with a reliable device, it can be 70 also, it can be 45 also. It depends until unless you simulate. Okay, because you can see one equipment is available with a good manufacturing company also. One equipment is available with a bad manufacturing company also. But what is the main difference between these two devices? What is the main difference? You can see the best example is your air conditioner, refrigerator or whatever the daily home appliances we use. Okay, the power consumption will increase. Okay, in the local manufacturing companies, the lifespan will be less. The reliability will be low. So all this happens when you go with your local manufacturing company. So here the value of your current waveform may differ from one point to other point. So as a rough, only for understanding point of view, I have taken the value of 90 degrees over here. So here you can see the inductive load is a load which pulls large amount of current or inrush current. In the last class also, as I have told you that any device will take some extra amount of current. Okay, will take some extra amount of current till some amount of time like till your rpm value reaches it can be 30 seconds it can be 45 seconds it can be for one minute also it depends so the units of inductive load is nothing but henry it is henry over here so what what is the main concept here we are going to understand nothing but power factor so if you are having the inductive load what will be the power factor value? So here, what is the difference we have between the voltage and current? Nothing but 90 degrees is the phase difference we have got. So here, the power factor value in the symbolic form, we are going to write as cos phi. So phi value, we have got 90 degrees as per the above waveform. So cos 90 is zero over here. So for purely inductive load, the power factor will be zero degrees. I hope it's very clear regarding the inductive load. And the best example for the inductive load is fans, pumps, motors, welding machines, etc. Wherever you find winding, it can be any device. Can you open the, the, the diagram, the phase diagram? Yes. Just go back a little bit. Okay. I want to understand when the current value is at the peak. Sorry, the voltage value is at the peak. Why the current value is zero? The current value is not zero. In the but current it starts from it starts. Yes, exactly. It starts exactly, at... exactly. It starts from zero and the see what sir, not this one. Sir, not this one. The... Yeah, this one. This one you Second mean? One. Yeah, this one. Load. Yes, yes. What I have mentioned here in the Will first you? in the in the first sentence, what I have mentioned, it was a sudden change in current. There will be a sudden change in current waveform because this current is actually being used. To generate your magnetic energy. When you generate magnetic energy only, your equipment will work. Getting Mr. Fahad? Sorry, sir. Please say again. Sorry. 
uh, Mr. Mr. Fahad, here you can see I am using a machine. You, okay, you're having you a are, machine. You're having a machine of 230 volts, something but single phase supply, okay. one HP. And this machine works with the speed of 1200 RPM. Okay, so when you are going to switch on your machine, the machine will take some time to reach us your 1200 RPM. Do you agree with this? Agree. Something like 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 45 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah agree, agree. So that is this period. Yeah. That is this period. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay that is this period. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. Because when your machine reaches your 200 RPM, then only you will you can able to deliver something. Like exactly. Supply pump. Okay, you will be getting some discharge amount of value when your machine is rotating at 200 or 1500 RPM. 